I'm Mr. I. I'm in charge of the Falcon Silver Race Team. And these are my kids right in the middle of fabrication. We started this a little bit less than a year ago when I wanted to do a new project that was something a little bit outside the box. And we went to a little solar symposium down in Orange County and they had a solar race car parked off to the side. I just thought that was the coolest thing in the world. And as we were riding back, we were talking about it to me and some students. And his parents found a website where every year they hold this, this national solar race. So I came back and we started putting it together. And as you can see, we're right in the middle of building one of the most amazing little student-based projects ever. They're learning things from how to run a business all the way through automotive and fabrication and then eventually the strategies uh, of racing. Too long after I talked to my dad about the project and he thought it would be really cool, he ended up finding the solar race that the team will be entering online and I had brought it to Mr. I and from there on we started the project and continued to build. Wow. So, um, you were involved in a class similar to this, and then you eventually got to Indiana Tech. How did you, how did you get involved with Indiana Tech? Did, did, did this type of class help you get accepted there? Um, it wasn't just this class, but the, this class definitely helped prepare me for some of the engineering classes that I'm taking over at Indiana Tech. This class definitely helps out with the engineering aspects what to look for, what to do, how things pretty much work in the engineering field. And I've learned that it's helped quite a bit throughout my college experience so far. So on your vacation, you're in here helping out. That says a lot. <laughs> yeah, definitely can't get away from uh, this. I am lead for the photovoltaic company. Uh, we are in charge of the solar panel array that will be on top of the car. Uh, we currently have a receive, we haven't received yet, but we are in the process of acquiring the panels. Uh, we are also in charge of doing all uh, the computer design models, uh, three models for the car, and all the pieces, little pieces that go in the car, like the seat, steering, um, everything that has to go on there. Um, other than that, uh, we help out the electrical company a lot. Uh, their schedule is massive, and we have to help them out. So that's pretty much just uh, the rundown of what my company does. Um, this project right here is a great opportunity for students like myself who are aspiring to be engineers in the future. Uh, my uh, personal goal is to be uh, an electrical engineer. I have applied to universities and are looking at the, looking to receive acceptance letters pretty soon. Do you think this will help in terms of um, being accepted? As, yeah, as a this list of project? definitely will help because this is a project of this caliber. It, it's it takes a lot. It, you have to handle your stress levels. Um, have, having to handle six classes and then this on top. And sometimes we're here until five, six o'clock at night. And then we have to go home and do our normal homework and everything. So a project like this is definitely preparing us for the real world. And this is something where we're using university level physics, we're using calculus. And this is definitely something that will help, especially if you want to become an engineer. And you're here now on your vacation. Yeah. We aren't supposed to be going back to school t for another week, so uh, we're, me and uh, a couple other of us are here and working on the car. That says a lot. Hi, I'm Mike Mangeli. i um, been racing uh, land speed racing at Bonneville and El Mirage uh, Dry Lake for the last uh, 40 years this coming year. And uh, here helping the Palmdale High School solar car team uh, with the solar car that they're uh, building. So don't you, do you have some records? Have you? Uh, we have many records. Really? Okay. Uh, many, many records uh, over the years. Uh, currently we're running a uh, 29 uh, Ford Roadster with a Toyota motor in it. It holds uh, all four records that are available to us at Bonneville in that class. And uh, at El Mirage, uh, we have three of the four records uh, that are available to us. Uh, we also run a 1980 VW uh, pickup truck. And uh, currently, with a little two-liter motor, that holds the record at Bonneville at 195 miles an hour. So, running very well. <laughs> so you got a great well, background well. for this. Yes. And then you work yes. at Lock you're an engineer yeah. at Lockheed. Engineer at Lockheed Martin, uh, been there 32 years, and uh, that gave me the opportunity to come over and, and help the team. It actually, kind of started because they needed a seat and some other parts to get uh, start things building, and uh, we donated a seat. Uh, Donated to have one of our sponsors donate the belts and the things that the kids need, and uh, we 
donate a lot of uh, front end and some other parts uh, for the vehicle also. So, so you kind of help them kinda... sort of visualize, like so you sort of mm -hmm. ask questions, you don't tell them everything, you let them, yeah. We, we don't, we don't, uh, we don't tell them anything. They ask questions and I ask questions right back at them. We're, we're making them make the decisions and uh, understand why they're making those decisions. So that's, that's what we're here for.